Hello, welcome to Bristol Street Motors Peugeot. I'm here to show you the brand new 308. Uh, I'm going to give you a walk around on the car, showing you some of the new features and bringing to life some of the benefits that these features bring. I'll start you off by pointing out the brand new logo, the brand new Peugeot logo. The, the badge is actually made out of a, a new material called Indium. One of the properties of Indium is it allows radar waves to penetrate through the material. So the forward part of the radar system is actually located behind the badge. So what you get is a really good, sporty, aggressive stance from the car and not spoiled by a big square box. You'll notice there is no washer jet on the aggressive styling of the bonnet. That's because we have magic wash in the, in the windscreen wiper blades. So you get all of the washer fluid onto the screen really quickly. So you don't waste washer fluid and it cleans the screen very, very efficiently. We have here the, the Lion's Tooth Signature Daytime Running Lights. These are full LED lights, so they're really clear, really bright. They also double up as the indicators. So when you're approaching a junction, turning left or right, it's clearly obvious what you're actually trying to do. We also have a full set of LED headlights, so super bright, super safe, very, very efficient. On the GT and the GT Premium, these will be a full matrix LED headlight, which will illuminate traffic signs. It will also have an auto dipping function, so we don't dazzle the car that's approaching the other way, or indeed blind the driver when we're following another vehicle. So it has very, very good drag coefficiency. It's sitting on 17 inch two-tone diamond cut alloys, which are wrapped in Michelin tyres, which give it a really good grip and also a nice quiet, quiet ride on the road, so good ride quality. Moving up, we have the gloss black mirrors with the integrated LED uh, indicators here. Nice, smart gloss black trim on the Allure Premium and upwards. What you can't see from there is, in here we have the blind spot detection and these mirrors are heated and folding. From the B pillar backwards, we have privacy glass all the way around, so things in the back are obviously visible. Uh, new feature for Peugeot is we have the shark fin antenna, which is better for the DAB and also creates a lot less wind noise. Round at the back here, we have the integrated spoiler with the high level brake light, again, LEDs, so super bright. You'll also notice we have the lion's claw signature LED tail lights. Again, very bright, very safe. A gloss black diffuser, moving across here just above the, the new Peugeot badge, and a soft grip handle, which doesn't get your hands dirty. Moving down a little bit further, we have the gloss black uh, diffuser across the bottom, again, reinforcing the two-tone sporty nature of the car with the chrome exhaust trims. So down here at the rear of the car is the camera for the rear parking and it also has a nice little washer jet just there which is integrated into the rear wash wipe. Opening the boot, we have a proper grab handle for opening and closing, parcel shelf and 412 litres of, of storage space for suitcases, shopping bags etc. 60-40 split rear seat. With an, with an integrated ski hatch, so long items from B&Q or IKEA or other DIY places fit nicely through there. Okay, so here's your fuel filler. This is, a, this is a petrol version. It's also worth noting that we have a diesel version and we also have over here a plug-in electric hybrid version. Here's your charge point just here. It comes fitted with a 3.7 kilowatt charger as standard, which will mean the charging time is approximately seven hours, 50 minutes. For a small upgrade into a 7.4 7 kilowatt charger, that will reduce the charging time by around 50%. Benefit of the electric vehicle, in and out of town on relatively short journeys will run solely on electric. When you combine the electric with the fuel, fuel consumption, petrol consumption, you're talking really good miles per gallon. So that's the outside of the vehicle. Let's have a look inside. So here we are in the back of the car. I'm six foot tall. You can see I've got plenty of leg room. This is set up in my driving position for when I'm in the driving seat. Those seats have a nice, nice bit of storage compartment there. Headrests obviously move up and down. We have 
a nice center armrest with two full-size cup holders and also somewhere to drop a pen. Isofix child, child seat mounting points, so if you have small children you can just clip them straight in. For convenience in the back here we have two USB ports and for additional comfort we also have the two switchable um, vents. Up in the roof here, LED reading lights, nice and bright obviously touch on and off. They also come on when all the doors are open. Here I am in the business end of the car, clearly in the driver's seat. And the first thing that, that strikes you when you get into this car is the, the latest generation of the iCockpit, Peugeot's iCockpit, with the 10.1 inch display, which is incredible. And the dashboard display, the head, almost a heads up um, dashboard on here. It's a one piece dash with a nice, really premium feeling aluminium trim. All the vents are super efficient, they direct the air directly at you rather than around you so it's really really good in the hot weather when the air conditioning's on. Um, I want to show you some of the features in the eye cockpit because it's it's super complex but at the same time super simple. Okay so here we are with the the 10.1 inch uh, eye cockpit display. This display operates very much like a smartphone. The default setting is there are three pages. You can add more pages to suit your, your needs. So if you need to customize it, add more features, more widgets, you can do. The hotkeys down here, these are all customizable, apart from the home key. And to change them, you simply press the application drawer to open up the different widgets. And if you want to change mirror screen as an example to something different, you press and hold. Once it highlights the others, you can then select the one that you need. And here we are. So infinitely customizable. Three fingers gets you back to the application drawer. If you want to change the setup at all in any way, you can either go through the settings where you can adjust profile, customization, connectivity, a whole host of features. Alternatively, to get to the customization screen, press and hold, and when the circle fills, you're at customize the touch screen or customize the dashboard in front of the driver. So currently we have four pages set up. You can see here that there are opportunity for adding more widgets. The widgets will fill the screen as required giving you shortcuts or indeed the full function. With this system you can drill down into the into the function itself so if you wanted your favorite radio station here or your your partner significant other on the phone key you can you can have that shortcut there. So if you want to change the the hotkey here for phone to your favorite radio station press and hold and then select the radio station that you want. And here we go, we now have BBC Radio 2 as a hotkey on the, front, on the front page. Clicking on the, the climate control buttons, so we have dual zone climate control. On this side you can set the air conditioning, you can set it to auto fast, auto soft, synchronization, so you've got separate control and to change the temperature, you simply scroll up and down. And for fine adjustment, press the plus or the, or the minus key. So moving down, we have the volume control. We've got your advanced driver assistance system button here, followed by climate control, and kind of the buttons that you use on a day-to-day -day basis in normal driving. Coming down a little bit further, here's your stop-start button. So Key in the pocket, just press the stop start button to start the engine. Gear lever is a is actually a nice toggle switch. Back down here we have the drive mode, so you can change the power characteristics of the engine and an electronic handbrake. Under here, two good size cup holders, USB-C and a 12 volt socket just there. So charging up phones or tablets with a 12 volt socket as well. Here's a useful little uh, slot for putting your mobile phone. 
a really deep centre console. Again, USB-C socket, a nice handy little flap so you can run a cable through there and out to here where your phone would be sitting for charging it. It's air conditioned in there, so any, any drink in there isn't going to get warm. Any chocolate that's in there isn't going to melt and it's illuminated as well. The seats themselves, these are comfort seats, height adjustable. The driver's seat has a manual lumbar adjustment as well, which is a nice, a nice touch. A tri-cloth material finish with a leather effect trim and then the two different colours and the Zephyr stitching on this particular specification. I'll pull your attention to this, which I think is a really nice feature in that the, the headrest to move it up and down is a push button on the side rather than located underneath, so it's not, easy, not difficult to get to. Here we have the, um, the traditional smaller size steering wheel which comes on the 308 model. Um, one of the benefits of this is when your hands are at 10 to 2, it's a much more relaxing stance and leads to less pressure on your back and makes it really, really comfortable over longer, longer distances. So you don't get tired as frequently. One of the other benefits of the small steering wheel is when you're looking through onto the road, then your natural, natural position for the dashboard is on top of the steering wheel rather than through the gap underneath. So your eye movements are, are less so again, you don't get tired quite so quickly whilst driving. Moving on to some of the controls on the steering wheel. On the left side, we have the adaptive cruise control and the speed limiter. So the whole of the 308 range comes with a, a built-in speed limiter. So you can just press and adjust using the toggles. On the Allure Premium and upwards, we have adaptive cruise control. To activate that, you press the assist button, press it twice, Press OK to activate it, and then your speed is increased or decreased with the toggle switch. And then on the right hand side of the steering wheel, we have the volume controls for the, for the hi fi. You have your telephone call button. You also have a feature called OK Peugeot, where you can talk to the car and ask it to perform different tasks. OK Peugeot, turn the temperature to 22 degrees. At the back of the steering wheel, we also have the, the paddles for manual shift, so downshift and upshift. The customised dashboard, you can customise the display to do different, different functions. Which includes having the, a full size sat nav on there. We have trip computer over here, so trip one, trip two and instant fuel economy, instant fuel consumption. It's also worth noting that the, the 308 hatchback also comes as the 308 SW, which increases the boot, boot capacity to 608 litres, 548 litres in this version, which is the hybrid. Thank you for watching. For further information, please go to bristolstreet.co.uk forward slash Peugeot.